Should you become a computer hardware engineer in 2022? The purpose of this video is to help you figure that out. We're going to go over salary, demand, educational requirements, job postings, and more to help you figure out whether this occupation is for you. Computer hardware engineers research, design, develop, or test computer or computer-related equipment. They can work in a variety of industries, including commercial, industrial, military, or scientific. Like many of the other engineering fields, computer hardware engineers build, test, and modify product prototypes. They create working models, and they also create computer simulations of potential products. Computer hardware engineers are experts in incorporating processors and other computer components in different manufactured goods. This could include many new cars, home appliances, and medical devices. Most computer hardware engineers tend to like their jobs. According to the Payscale Meaning Survey, 71% report extreme satisfaction or pretty fair satisfaction with their job, and 53% think that their work makes the world a better place. Working in a career occupation that you're gonna be satisfied with is one component of choosing a career. If you need help choosing an occupation, we have the program for you. Choose the Right Career is a seven-step process that incorporates your interests, your personality, your values, how much money you want to make, where in the country you want to live, and more. If you need help choosing a career occupation, check out the link below. Like many of the other engineering fields, computer hardware engineers tend to be very male dominated. According to data from the labor force statistics, 87% of computer hardware engineers report being male, 7% report being Hispanic or Latino, 57% white, 6% African American, and 37% Asian. Given that around 76-77% of America is Caucasian white, the fact that 37% of computer hardware engineers report being Asian, that means they're really well represented in this occupation. Next up, we have education. What kind of education do you need to enter this occupation? According to the Occupational Information Network, 48% of employed computer hardware engineers have a bachelor's degree, 34% have a master's degree, 7% only have some college, and 11% have other. For this occupation, for a lot of the better paying jobs do tend to require a master's degree or a doctoral degree. We can also look at a couple of job postings to show you that a lot of the requirements really depends on the industry. The first job posting I have for you is for a hardware engineer too, and this is for Microsoft within Washington, DC. For this particular job posting, just requires a bachelor's degree, and they prefer computer engineering, computer science, or related field. And what's interesting is I'm gonna show you a couple other job postings that have very different requirements. For example, if we go to this particular job posting with NetApp in San Jose, California, this is for a lead hardware engineer, very different requirement. They want 12 years of related experience with a bachelor's of science in electrical engineering or computer engineering or 10 years with a master's degree. And you see this with some uh, job postings where the, uh, the degree kind of acts as a couple of years of work experience. But here they're looking for electrical engineering or computer engineering. Finally, we have a hardware engineer job posting for North of Grumman in San Diego, California. And this is wildly different than many of the other hardware engineer job postings. This just requires a bachelor's degree in STEM. Any bachelor's degree in STEM from an accredited university. Accredited means it has to be in the United States and has to pass accredit accreditation. So any bachelor's degree, but that's the base requirement, but they actually prefer mechanical or electrical engineering. So like many of the other engineering fields, computer hardware engineers are kind of building a transferable skill set that they can use in other occupations, but other engineers also have that transferable skill set. So there's a lot of computer hardware engineers that end up with mechanical engineering degrees, electrical engineering degrees. There's some kind of electronics degree. There's a lot of engineers with those, those kind of backgrounds that end up working as computer hardware engineers and kind of vice versa. Next up, we have the wages, and this is a huge advantage for computer hardware engineers. They tend to make a lot of money, and this is one of the more well-paying engineering fields. In 2021, the average base salary for a computer hardware engineer was $136,230. This makes it the second highest paying engineering field, and there's 16 different engineering fields in this list, and there's also software developers down here. Computer hardware engineers are only really out-earned by petroleum engineers, and this is nationwide. Uh, when we go into uh, certain statistical areas, certain states, certain metro areas, things get a little different. Pretty much the best place to be a computer hardware engineer is San Jose, California. The average base salary in San Jose in 2021 was 183,000. There's around 8,000 employed here. And if we factor in 30% benefits, total compensation almost reaches $240,000. San Jose, California is where Silicon Valley is. So it's no surprise that on many of the hardware engineers, there's lots of job opportunities and they tend to make really, really good money, even though it's an extremely expensive place to live. 
The second best place to live is San Diego, California. In San Diego, California, the base salary is around 162,000 per year, and San Diego employs around 4,000 computer hardware engineers. Another thing we can look at is wage growth. What kind of wage growth are computer hardware engineers experiencing year by year? In 2016, the average base salary for a computer hardware engineer was around $119,000 per year. This grew to $136,000 $230 per year in 2021, and this is nationwide. This means that computer hardware engineers saw a wage growth of $10,090 last year, or an 8% growth between 2020 and 2021. So not only do computer hardware engineers make a really great salary, they're also seeing really good wage growth, at least between 2020 and 2021. We'll see if this continues. Next up, we have demand. What kind of demand is there for computer hardware engineers all across the country? Obviously, this occupation is very regional. A lot of the employment opportunities are in very specific places, mainly San Francisco, San Diego. There's a lot of them in Washington, DC. So you definitely have to live in some pretty specific places because this isn't the biggest occupation. In fact, when we compare engineering workforces, there's around 73,750 employed computer hardware engineers in 2020. So it's much bigger than, say, biomedical, chemical, agricultural, or aerospace engineering, but it's not as big as civil engineering, electrical, industrial, or mechanical engineering. And also there's a fraction of computer hardware engineers compared to the number of software developers. So what's kind of weird here is the government hasn't really seen a lot of job growth in computer hardware engineers. And this could be because there's only so many engineering graduates per year that have this skill set. So maybe the demand is there and there's just, they can't hire enough of them. But if we look at government numbers in 2016, there was around 73,000 employed computer hardware engineers and fell to around 61,000 in 2018. But since then it's rebounded to 73,750 employed in 2021, giving us a growth of about 800 jobs between 2016 and 2021, not very much. The reason this shouldn't concern you is because we also look at job postings. We can actually look at the number of job postings for hardware engineers right now. and don't go to Glassdoor, don't go to Indeed. Most of the job postings are gonna be on LinkedIn. So on Glassdoor, I found 1,420 job opportunities in the United States for computer hardware engineers. On Indeed, 2,614. And on LinkedIn, there was a staggering 73,302 job postings related to computer hardware engineer. There's just as many job postings on LinkedIn for computer hardware engineers as there are employed in the country. Now, a lot of these job postings might be software developers and maybe they had like hardware in the text or something. But still, that's uh, that's a lot of job postings and I kind of went through it and th there are plenty of job postings for computer hardware engineers on LinkedIn. So it's really interesting to see what will happen in this field. As the US and China grow further and further apart, maybe those jobs will move to another country or maybe they'll move back home because there was a lot of outsourcing, especially in the early 2000s of electronics engineering positions and jobs and computer hardware engineering jobs. But the political landscape is changing a lot, and it's really going to be interesting over the next 10 years to see if many of these jobs come back or, or not. Finally, we have the Myers-Briggs personality assessment. Many people don't really use this as far as career choice goes, but some people kind of find it interesting. So I kind of include it in all of my different videos. The three most common Myers-Briggs types found in this occupation is the ISTJ, the inspector, the ESTJ, the director, and the ENTP. The debater. Meanwhile, the most likely Myers-Briggs types to be attracted to this occupation include the INTJ, the ENTJ, and the ENTP. So I hope this video helped you figure out whether computer hardware engineering is for you. I have a lot of other content on a lot of other engineering fields, as well as a lot of other content on a lot of careers and occupations. Are you a computer hardware engineer? What do you enjoy about this career or occupation? And what do you dislike about this field? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.